I'll walk you through the severe threat a little bit more and have a look at tomorrow coming up. All right, thank you, Josh. Well, in an exclusive this morning, today marks 35 years of one family's heartache. The nightmare of not knowing what happened to Elizabeth Campbell is haunting her loved ones. But they're not giving up hope and they're searching for more answers surrounding her mysterious disappearance. 25 News anchor Joey Horta has an exclusive interview with her family. On the night of April 25th, 1988, a Coppers Cove woman disappeared from a convenience store never to be seen again. With the six-year anniversary of Elizabeth Campbell's disappearance, her family is still searching and waiting. What happened to Elizabeth Campbell? It's a question that would be asked by the hosts of America's Most Wanted and Unsolved Mysteries, and most powerfully, by her own family. Uh, April 25th of 88, a traumatic date seared into the mind of Elizabeth's sister, Barbara, the night when Elizabeth would stop to use a payphone outside this 7-Eleven in Copper's Cove and vanished without a trace. Elizabeth is out there. Still holding on to hope. And she is asking and begging and crying for people's help. The missing person poster still taped to her car, spreading the message everywhere they go. Another sister, Carol Ann, still haunted two generations later. It scares me. It scares me. Sketch artists would reveal eyewitness accounts of a possible suspect. Elizabeth's purse would turn up, but no luck. So who did it? I don't know. It could have been anybody. It could have been a next door neighbor. They look like you and me. People do bad things and they look like you and me. The family home still full of Elizabeth's photos and trinkets, her bedroom still in order, ever ready and hopeful for her safe return. In Harker Heights, Joey Horta, 25 News. Thank you so much, Joey, for that special report. Now, if you know anything about Elizabeth's disappearance, please call Copper's Cove Crime Stoppers. You could receive a $10,000 reward. Now, 35 years later, Elizabeth's mom still bakes her a birthday cake every single year. To watch our interview with her, go ahead and log on to our website, kxxv.com. A new information.